I hope you've found some more information on this ghost business, Andronicus. Look, I've been doing some digging around, and by all accounts, this stuff is more messed up than Tatooine. Pirates run this place, though the Empire and the Republic have dared to move in of late. Still, ships don't land here. The cold is part of it, but there are other rumors. The kind you'd ignore if you had sense. Fortunately, I'm not interested in sense. Only ghosts. What do these rumors say? There was a light freighter out of Yavin 4, Star Runner, disappeared over this place. Reported some strange happenings before it did. It was a smuggler vessel, loaded full of ancient junk from Yavin's tombs. If I wanted to catch a ghost, I'd start asking after that ship. This looks like an excellent opportunity to continue your training, Ashara. I'm ready, Master. Hollow Chatter says the Empire's operating on this ice block. So you might try using your new Lord of the Sith authority. Careful, though. Place is crawling with pirates. And they aren't all as nice as me. I'm looking for a ship called the Star Runner. My lord, truly an honor and a surprise. I'm afraid no ships have landed on Hoth in ages. Unless it's a crash. Actually, the name Star Runner sounds familiar. If I may ask, what do you need the ship for? You're here on Darth Thanoson's behalf, naturally. I am my own master now, but you can be forgiven for thinking otherwise. Right, of course. I meant no offense, my lord. Star Runner. Blast. Your ship crashed years ago. It's buried under a few tons of snow by now. Your best bet? No. Give me a few months to get a recovery team on it. I'm afraid you may be dead in a few months. Is there a faster solution? Well, I mean, there's an Imperial Reclamation Service team you could take command of, if you wanted. It's just, the lieutenant in charge is a little odd. Too much time digging in tombs, you understand. One moment you're seeking artifacts of unspeakable power, and the next you're flying halfway across the galaxy hunting ghosts. Well then, maybe you and Lieutenant Talos Drellic will get along after all. I'm afraid I can't call Lieutenant Drellic. The weather on Hoth is bad for communications. The team's way out in the way searching for some mythical Sith temple on Hoth of all places. Good luck, my lord. They're close, boys. We'll find that temple, I can feel it. Rogers, no cutting corners. Don't forget the salt. Salt's not the best solution, but it's the only thing that doesn't freeze out here and solid footing is a must. I thought I was crazy. Oh, my lord, you can never be too cautious. The dead dislike having their graves rifled, even for posterity. I heard you single-handedly unearthed artifacts of the great Tulak Horde. I'm a Naga Sadar man myself, but I'd love to compare notes. What brings you to Hoth? And how may I be of service? I heard that a ship carrying artifacts from Yavin 4 went down over Hoth. Hmm. A ship. Not usually our line, but let's hear it. Maybe we can help. Hmm. A bit new for the reclamation service, but artifacts. And a ghost. I've heard that the dead talk down in the tombs, but to see one, oh. I wonder if it'd be possible to make a hollow image. I imagine it would depend on the light. Yes. Darker would be better. Engineer Sorrel, do we have any probes that aren't frozen solid? Shalora works as good as any in these conditions, sir. She may not look like much, but she's got heart. If my guess is correct, the captain would have launched a distress beacon before the crash, which would give us a line on the ship. Trust me, I'll take care of it. Excellent. I've triangulated out a rough area where I think the beacon would have landed. My boys and I are going to shift camp, try to get a better communication setup going, but let us know if you find anything. This is Captain Quellen of the Star Runner. SOS, I repeat, SOS. We're caught in Hoth's gravitational pull and falling fast. Strange events date back two weeks. Yavin 4 artifacts believed to be the source. 
Something has taken control of the ship. To whomever finds this message, burn this vessel. Don't look inside. Don't touch it. Burn it. Lieutenant Drellick really is something else. Could find a Wampa here in a snowdrift, I bet. It still doesn't tell me where the ship is. No, but we have a bearing from the beacon launch. And those tracks. Somebody beat us to this thing. Lieutenant, sir, we found the beacon, but no ship. There's some light tracks, though. Appear to be a few days old. Have Shamora zoom in, Sorrel. I've been studying alien tracks since I was old enough to know a Twi'lek from a Takata. Um, Ortolan. I'd know them if they were six days old and covered in jam. Those are Ortolan tracks. I'll be sure to look for you next time my ship's galley is invaded by a pack of Ortolans. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that next time the Imperial Reclamation Service Trackers Committee meets. It looks like those Ortolans dug something up. Possibly a clue to the ship's location. Sorrel, where's the nearest Ortolan camp? It's a ways beyond the next outpost, but the tracks look headed in the right direction. Well, it might be time to put on your best diplomatic face, my lord. Ortolans don't like outsiders much, but it looks like they're the key to finding our ghost. This chase better give results, or I'll have your skin for a cloak. Never so much as a pottery shard has escaped me, my lord. We are on the right track. I'll have Sorrel bring the beacon to the base. Between it and the Ortolans, we're bound to have a breakthrough. We'll be there when you're through dealing with the Ortolans. I'm looking for the remains of a ship called the Star Runner, which you took from the Distress Beacon site. <laughs> Could you say that again? No offense, but Master, why can't you Sith just become one with the Force when you die? Surely I can persuade you otherwise. I've never taken no for an answer, and it would be a shame to start now. What exactly does this entail? And how exactly do I enact revenge on ancient dead assassins? I met the ghost, and he needs me to get inside an ancient temple. And it's true! My peers in the service laughed when I said it was on Hoth, but now, yes! It's the only thing that makes sense. Your ghost said he was a follower of Ludo Kresh, and that Naga Sadao's assassins killed him. Sith, do you realize what you've done? Let's not get carried away here. Not get carried away? Oh, impossible. We're talking about the fabled Sadoween. Naga Sadao's personal order of assassins. Myth made real. Don't worry, I'll get you inside. I've been circumventing the security of ancient tombs since I was old enough to hold a data spike in a pair of pliers. Glad to hear it. Let me just gather up my equipment here. All right, let's go.
looks like a simple pulley job. I, I just need to... Give me a moment. Oh, I am too excited. Every time I open a new tomb, like watching a flower blossom, so many wonders. Unbelievable. These look like the catacombs. The rest of the temple must have been destroyed by the elements. The great and secret order of Naga Sadao's assassins, the Sadoween. This is where they came to die when their bloody work was done. So much history. It almost seems wrong to destroy it. Please. I know the ghost wants this all destroyed, but let me at least take some hollow recordings. To obliterate all this history, why? We'd be orphaning ourselves. Our culture needs the hand of the past to guide it. The assassin's legacy must be destroyed. That includes hollow wreck. Oh, un Sleep or Take your record and make it extra thorough. Thank you. It shouldn't take too long. There. That's the last piece. Just... Just tell me when it's over. Wow. <laughs> 
That's the last of them. My lord, that droid, didn't we already defeat it? Excellent. Thank you, Sith, for your help. Fascinating. How is this possible? It doesn't appear to be technological. To see those pawns of Nagasadao crushed, their graves defiled. Normally, I consider myself above revenge, but this pleases me. I think I liked your old puppets better. More lifelike. I find Naga Sadal's droid aesthetic somewhat lacking myself. The ghost! Never in a million years! The Star Runner may be found in the belly of the mighty Super Dreadnought Star of Coruscant, in the graveyard of ships. I landed it there for safekeeping after I crushed its foolish captain. There, you will find me. I know the place, but it's swarming with pirates. White Moor, I think they're called. Not exactly connoisseurs of the historical. These pirates sound far more exciting than the present company. I wait expectantly for your arrival. Unbelievable! One minute it's walking around good as new, and the next... Oh, there's better equipment for analysis at the base near here. It's on the way to the ship graveyard, if you'll follow me. Here we are. Now, I have to analyze this droid. But your friend said they'd be here if you needed them. I believe the ghost said he was in the Dreadnought. Best go there if you wish to find him. My savior and avenger, my heart is light, almost as if I were alive again. You have a gift. The way you and your apprentice cut through my guardians was most satisfactory. What was the point of having them attack us? Haven't we already proven ourselves to you? I am sorry, but I have always been vain, and surrender is not a pill I swallow easily. Attempts on my life are not a pill I swallow easily. Surely a Sith must be used to fending off unwanted attacks. Or have the Sith become soft since my time? Before you perform the ritual, promise me that you will release me when your enemies are defeated, and you no longer need my power. Seal the promise with your blood, and I will submit willingly to your control. I promise to release you once Thanaton is defeated. Excellent. Let the ritual begin. My lord, I hope to catch you before you left. I, um, I have resigned from the service. The military just isn't the best use of my talents. I feel I could serve the Empire better by, uh, by helping you, if you'll let me. 
I can always use another lover of the strange. It would be an honor. I promise I won't let you... Wait, you will? Great! Great! Thank you. You won't regret it. I have military training, rifles, small arms, grenades, and I am the best in the galaxy at finding rare artifacts, if I may say so. The ship's getting crowded. Are you sure we can use him? I promise I won't let you down. Ah, yes! I can sense the new power within you. Good. And I would suggest... Tagasar Charis embarks prize war parent Swase Ikbus Karadida. For once I agree with a monster. Break into Thanaton's meditation chamber and blast him with all those dead Sith you've piled up. Where's this meditation chamber again? Droman Kass, the Citadel. You say the word, I'll set the course. But if you face him with his defenses up like last time, you're toast. Don't forget it. If there's any way I can aid you, my lord, let me know. My lightsaber is ready, should you have need. Up now, we sons. What was your master like? You had a master, right? I did. Until I trapped her in the body of the Tishard. Ah, so that's whose ash is. The way she spoke of you, I suspected. She makes me uneasy. She speaks so kindly of you, but the look in her eye and that body... It's wrong. She is powerless to disobey me. You know you have to free her someday. You can't leave her trapped in that monster, no matter what she did. I can, and I will. Your own master? How can you talk like that? You claim to follow your passions, but what about friendship? The Jedi seek spiritual peace, and they watch out for each other. Master Ryan and Osara were more like parents to me than my own parents. You must have had terrible parents. Anyway, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm sure you have pla- What was your master? I did- Ah, you make- She is power- You know- you understand so little of how Sith work. If I free her, she will kill me. I won't ever get used to the fear and suspicion among Sith. You claim to follow your passions, but what about friendship? The Jedi seek spiritual peace, and they watch out for each other. Master Ryan and Osara were more like parents to me than my own parents. Yet you disobeyed them to follow me. Every Jedi must find her own path. Mine was with you. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to start an argument. I'm still trying to figure things out. My lord, I'm sorry I was so harsh about the Empire earlier. There's just a lot I'm still trying to process. It's overwhelming. But you are wise beyond your years. I don't know. I guess I've always believed that truth is important, and that finding the truth is life's work. But I'm honored that you consider me wise. Beautiful and wise are a rare combination. Um, thank you. Look, I need... I mean, I haven't done today's meditation. I need to train. I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable. No, it's alright. It's not you. I just... I have things I need to do. Talk to you later. I changed my mind. I have nothing to say to you. I don't understand. I haven't done anything. No, you didn't do anything, but you're Sith. Just released on the Holonet, Sith and the Corellian system killed the group of free traders for failing to give them free passage to the Outer Rim. They murdered them. That's what Sith do. You don't do that. So don't tell me that all Sith are murderous psychopaths and I just have to accept it. If there's going to be any kind of peace agreement, the Empire has to stop this. This behavior will destroy the Empire from within. I won't allow it. I'm sorry. I'll try to be more patient. I'm sorry about before. I didn't mean to end the conversation so abruptly. It's just... Jedi aren't supposed to become romantically attached. I 
I don't want to force you into anything. I know. I know that. You've been perfectly noble. Jedi are supposed to be wary of attachments. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't attracted to you. I'm not trying to lead you astray. But I think you're beautiful. Who said you were leading me astray? Jedi have emotions, you know. They sometimes even get married. Let's take it one step at a time. I didn't mean... I couldn't even imagine. Not that I don't think you'd make a good husband. What I mean is... I don't want to rush it. We'll go as fast as you're comfortable with. Thanks. I appreciate that. After Lord Cineratus' death, I knew you'd be here eventually. A lesser Sith would run and hide under a sand dune, but it's obvious you're not a lesser Sith. The sooner we get this done, the better. Talk makes you impatient. You are young. After let... Draw your lightsaber. You die here. I've faced many challenges over the years. My death is no more certain now than it was then. This doesn't need to end in violence. I suppose you could flee, leave the Sith Order behind, find a lover, settle down, start a farm on some backwater planet. But you would always... The sooner we get this done, the better. Talk makes you impatient. You are young and proud. No doubt all you see is a withered old man waiting to be crushed and succeeded. Roland? Yes, Master. The apprentice of a disobedient Sith must die. Let us do our solemn duty. This time, I will be sure to dispose of your corpse personally. I've learned a few tricks since we last met. Nonsense now. Don't let him talk to you like that. He's a treacherous snake. Cut out his fangs. Careful now. Don't lose control. I warned you my ritual was dangerous. I warned you it was not for the weak, but you drank the poison. handle that kind of power. What just happened? Where's Thanaton? You're dying, little snake. Don't struggle. It'll only prolong the agony. One thing I forgot to mention about the Force binding. You should never, ever bind more than one ghost at a time. Or else... Well, you'll see. Whoever you are, be quiet. I need to think. He wants to think. He should have thought before he grasped for power beyond his abilities. We had no choice but to serve you before. But now, we can finally have some fun. Visa. Sith, back in the land of the living. Easy now. You overextended yourself. The ghost's power was too much for your body to adapt to so quickly. And that's not to mention the little chats you've been having in your sleep. Let me guess the ghosts. They won't be quiet. How did you know? I know a thing or two about voices invading one's thoughts. Whatever the cause, you look dire. And Thanaton will take advantage unless we find a cure quickly. Give me some time to do some research. 
Ashara, I'll need your help. Holocrons are impossible these days. It makes no sense. Darth Vilas produced over 3,000 volumes, writings and holocrons. Makes a one-line notation. I'm hearing voices, must find cure. Then nothing in 3,000 volumes of a single other mention of the subject. Do you think Thanaton could have tampered with your resources? These are common diaries, not sick secrets. There's no reason anyone would... No. No, you're right. Why didn't I see this before? Volume 2397, line 232. Killed my fourth apprentice today. Caught him spying. Same line. Volume 2455. Killed my fourth apprentice today. Caught him spying. The entire volume is a duplicate. How did that fool know what volume to hide? Thanaton must have grasped what was going on when he confronted you and ordered the volumes switched. Let's hope he didn't destroy them. He keeps a private, heavily guarded library under Drummond Castle. I'm not supposed to know about it, but for various reasons, I do. I'm guessing Darth Vilas's missing volume and another by Darth Aratus are there. Both could be imperative to your survival. My lord, I've been studying the Sith Code lately, and I'm wondering what you think of the line, Peace is a lie. There doesn't seem to be a lot of room for interpretation, but I know you are an ardent proponent of peace. There's a difference between complacency and genuine peace. My lord, there doesn't... You should know by now that I do not allow the Sith to dictate how I live my life. Yes, I guess so. It still strikes me as strange how you can be Sith and value Sith teaching so little. The Jedi Code is the core of our philosophy. We learn it by heart, and it's the foundation of everything we do. But I guess it's different for the Sith. The Sith Code is more a description than a guide. Some take its words very seriously. Which is better? The ones that truly believe peace is a lie? Or the ones with no code at all? How can there be peace with the Sith Empire when every Sith does their own thing? This task we've taken gets more difficult every day. 